sure we're not getting uh, Cody. Yep, it's just us tonight, and so right. welcome, folks, to a, another session of our Stone Prophet in the Sands of Arakir. I am your Dungeon Master, Dungeon Mister, and we are joined by the wonderful players today. If you guys want to say hey, you absolutely can. Greetings. Hello. Howdy. Hey. <laughs> And unfortunately, we are down a couple of players, so they will be... A couple? Yeah, yeah we're down a couple of players. As, uh... Oh! Yeah. I just realized Big John's not here. Uh, he's internet issues and help stuff, and it's, you know, life happens, but the story continues. So, Big John and Esquire will be around, maybe? We'll find out. Uh, but let's get into what happened last time before we get into what's going to happen this time with a little bit of a recap. So without further ado, last time, you guys were trying to communicate with the blind and tongueless elderly woman in a strange place much harder than you anticipated. Other than a well to the east, it seemed you could gather very little information from her. You all bedded down for the evening in her abode. In the night, as the sands cooled down, Duncan did think he noticed something over by the fireplace, which wasn't lit and never was since you had seen it. Dismissed it as nothing after looking further. But as John's watch came, he noticed something too. He saw a demonic face of fire that spoke to him in tongues that he couldn't quite understand. Waking everyone up, some of you dismissed it as imagination, doubled up the watch just in case in the night. Nothing happened though, and on your first morning here, the cool air welcomed you, quickly turned to scorching hot winds blustering over the desert. You took your leave of this, this woman, and you started to head east across the desert in hopes of finding the well. You did uh, get closer on the hot sands and encountered a crack in the ground that a large bolt of lightning shot out right between your troop. Fire quickly followed and out of this crevice and assaulted you as two large kind of animated fiery hands dealing with this ordeal before it got out of hand. Uh, -huh. uh You quickly crossed a couple more dunes, spotting the well not far away as winds seemed to rage in the distance. And along this well was a statue atop a jackal, or a statue of a jackal atop a pillar. And approaching a gaggle of skeletons screamed as they popped out of the ground and assaulted you. In the mix of things, Duncan actually fell for a moment just before destroying these skeletons. Inspecting the statue revealed transportation magics, or, well, at least conjuration. And the well was actually not a well, but some structure beneath it. Doza being the first in as he scampered down the well with his feline agility. The rest of you all followed, only for the rope to break. Down in the well, after taking a little bit of a breather, you approached what could be seen as fire. You saw a woman. She introduced herself as Senef, a citizen of Muhar. And she heard her ankle climbing into the well during a sandstorm and needed help getting out. Seeing the place was probably much bigger than just this little entrance. He eventually agreed and helped her out. As she got out, she seemed very frightened of Doza and attempted to run away before she could get far. And now with Doza chasing her and intensifying her fear, Elias used magic to charm her for now. She turned back, frightened still of the Catman, and started to explain a little bit about things, and that's where we're going to pick up. As you guys are still standing, like, beside the well, Doza and her maybe, like, 30 or so feet uh, nearby. Did I, I, I run up and catch up. Did, no, did, uh, go ahead. did we get her name? Senet. <clears throat> it was Senet. Senet. Okay, Senet. Uh, 
Viv Vivian's gonna uh, just quickly take a look at her her water container, and she's gonna she's gonna check to s she's gonna do a sniff test. Yeah, give me a give me a survival check. It's probably not a good idea to drink uh, blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh she will she will pour it out. Is there any water left in the bucket? No. Everybody already took theirs. A ranger okay. should know this, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> um Alright, I have no water, but I'm not gonna tell anyone. That's fair. As you pour the congealed. blood water out. As it is a little congealed, maybe clean it out later when, if you get a chance. Uh, <laughs> where uh, you guys approach Senef, as she still looks frightened of Doza. She's kind of oh, not quite trembling, just like side eyeing him and looking down to Elias. There is no need to be afraid of this one. No, no, no. He, he's not a child of uh, Octo Octopot? That's, that's that what you said? Octopot, a... yes. Yeah, Octopot. he's... We're, we're not from around here, uh, so... We don't really know exactly what that is. So I'm sure you... I don't think he is one of those child he, children. You seem to be, um, I think, uh, confused by our appearance well I have never seen strangers such as you although it's not unheard of for strangers to enter the land it would be hmm it would seem more and more strangers are coming every day Has anything prompt, prompted that? Is there anything going on here in Harakir? There is sickness raging throughout Harakir, for sure. Those in River Shelter have sought refuge, and I believe some are heading to the oasis further down. Hopes of purifying before they fall. I myself am not sick fortunately can i inside check that sure her saying she's not sick give me an insight check um she doesn't believe she's sick okay uh, and vivian as you're kind of dipping your water out as she's explaining this to you to the others you would hear a crash of, of lightning as it echoes beyond the the dune, not but a couple of dunes away from you, where you had first saw, seen them. And then would see the wind swirling behind as if almost stretching out further towards you. Uh... Uh, mes amis, uh, looks like we we have to go. As the winds start to pick up. Uh, so Senef, go, which, which way? Where? Which way to the Great Oasis? Uh, uh, it would far. be. Uh, I do not know the uh, directions uh, at this point. I have a map. I have a map. Uh, as, map. as this. Uh, Essentially I'll like run. a giant sandstorm with lightning bolts within it start to arrive nearby. Is I'm this gonna a go note? back down into the uh the well. A little fancy being out here in the storm. Because it's moving know. fast. It's it, on top it, of us. You're like two dunes away from where lightning just struck down onto a dune. Yeah, as it seems to just crackling as there's this electricity feeling in the air. Oh, uh, Senef, is this a normal occurrence? Uh, this is one of those storms that I told you about that I got caught in. Uh, well, it looks oh, like we're caught in it again. 
that. So let's get back in the well. Dozer's got a good idea. Hey, right, oh. Big John, Esquire. Right, we're heading back down the wall. Well, let's go. Uh, Esquire stands for a moment to inspect the storm. As you've heard of sandstorms before, but never accompanied by the likes of lightning and thunder, much less fire coming from the ground. As he Esquire. kind of like lifts his glasses <laughs> up to to look at it, you would see almost like this giant sandy hand stretch out towards him and grasp him before any of you could react as well as Big John is pretty quick on the draw in this moment even for his big size reaches out to try and strike this sand hand and as he does a face in this this massive sandstorm whirlwind around seems to swallow him whole as he lands into the sand and disappears from view. Oh, oh my goodness, get, get in the well! Matt, don't God tell me twice. Uh, Senep is already, like, waiting to be carried, but uh, seeing the person who carried her previously, she will, uh, she'll get down the well first. Or, well, you know. As quick as she after, can. After the Catman? It should be at, uh... Catman's fast. Yeah. yeah, she would be after the Catman. That's perfectly fine. Uh, okay. I guess we're all going down there. Uh, yeah. I'll jump in uh, after Snef. I want Make, everyone... Making sure Duncan's coming by. ...to give me a dexterity save. As you run, as you're all running towards the well, I'll use my inspiration. Sixteen. All right. I have no inspiration. You you do you, now. You do now. <laughs> uh, but Duncan, as you're kind of like trying to help, let's say guide everyone in, you are pelted by sand. As you do take three points of uh, piercing damage, as you are just pelted by sand, and eventually make your way down into the well. As hearing the the lightning and thunder in the distance, the wind overhead, back in this darkened space. It just, it, uh, just took, it just took them. Snef, where, where did they go? Uh, you know, as much as I do, people disappear in those storms and uh, some are seen from again, others aren't. I don't think there's don't nothing see. we can do for them now. I don't think there's any surviving that. Uh, well, hey, while uh, we're while we're waiting, there was that door down here that we didn't look at before. Uh, that sounds like a bad idea, uh, but suppose that's the only idea we have. Um, uh, there's there's only so much uh, water. How how long do these storms usually go for? I would say anywhere from one hour to two days. Oh, multi. Okay. At least they are not like the uh, the great storms over the the great desert. A boom. This is not the great desert. There's a bigger one. Oh, on the other side of Muhar, and across the, the river. So this is a common occurrence more and more common recently plagues and storms have been spotted all over the place muhar itself seems safe 
Uh, at least from the storms. Okay. Um, well, I'm... I might be outvoted, but I say we just sit here and wait it out. We don't need to open up any screaming doors. Oh, that, that was my... my I, I, I think the same thing. I, I think we just wait it out. That's, yeah. well, that's what I was doing when you all arrived. Um, Madame Sinef, uh, I'm going to pull out my map. Um, are you able to uh, tell us where the oasis would be in relation to the things I, I drew on this map? I do not know what either of your markings are. Oh, uh, this is the, where we are at the well. Uh, and we have uh, the field of fire hands over here. Uh, I don't know what a field of fire hands is. I'm sorry, I don't get out of Muhar very often. Ah, uh, well, do you know the cardinal direction that it would be in? My husband was in charge of such things. It's either this way, that way, up or down. Do you know the, uh, the, uh, stars? Can you? I have seen the stars, yes. Do you know how to travel by stars? I am not a traveler by trade. I think you mistake me for someone who ventures outside the city often. So you are useless. You are just an extra mouth to feed? Well... No. I am an important citizen of Muhar, as I have stated many times. Remind me, how, how did you end up here um, if you don't travel outside Muhar? My husband thought he saw something and claimed we would be rich and be able to move up in Muhar if we would find whatever it was he thought he saw. A mirage, most likely, but... He is a and fool of a man. husband is where? As I said, he got lost in a sandstorm. Ah, I, I see. Yes. I, see. I wasn't listening to you. Your accent is hard to understand. Well... She kind of furrows her brow at that. <clears throat> there's been a lot of there's been a lot of uh, I'd say circumstance between what you told us and where we are now let's just uh, start over here obviously your husband is lost that's what um, I said yes uh, along with our friends um now, you must have some information about this surrounding area. Must just I? By, just by living here. This is not a hospitable place, obviously. There are tales of it being so once before. kind of sighs and tries to, like, think really hard. But no. Outside of the Oasis, it is not very hospitable. Those who wander out are often fools, like my husband, or you, already dying. You, you did follow him. Yes. Yes, you did. I did as any good wife would my duty as a citizen and my duty to my husband well my my duty as a as a as a good being of this world is to help you survive as best i can but you have to help me i have already helped you more than most would but I don't understand your devilish tongue there. A devilish? 
It's elvish, not devilish. That is what I said, is it not? There's a slight difference. Um, does, does she seem to react to a uh, skillet on my shoulder? No. Um, okay, I suppose we're waiting this out then. Uh, Phineas is over by the, the door and he's got his hands up on it and his ear pressed against the door. Hey, listen it I, out. Do I notice him? You would notice that, that he's gone. Absolutely. As you guys are having this conversation. I would say both you and Doza. I, I would say all of you have a good enough passive perception to notice that Elias is gone. Hey, Duncan. Uh, where is your, um, is your brother? Your cousin? Shit. Elias, give, are you are you listening at the door, I take it? Yeah. Because there's bones kind of piled up next to it. Uh, give me a perception check. The nat, nat 20. 20. Too bad nobody's Ooh. around to see it, otherwise you'd give them inspiration. <sighs> uh, you hear the crackling of fire within. Ooh. Other than that, dead quiet. He's at the door. Hey, hey guys, I, I hear something. Uh, no, no, there's no screaming or nothing. Just uh, sounds like a fire. Quiet. It kind of sounds similar to the torch that is on the wall back here. Uh, is this door barred, or is it is there handle? There's is it, handles. Uh, I'm just going to try and see if it's unlocked. Sure. It is unlocked. Okay. Is anybody, did he, did they... he come back? Or did you yell that to us? We're not that far away. Yeah, you guys, you guys are like 40 feet away. Yeah. Well, I... I, So... That's the only place it could be. So Duncan's assuming that he probably went for the door, is my guess. I'm assuming, though, that we've had the conversation with... Uh, I left as you said. We're not going to go to the door. I walked over to the door. Yeah, right. But he, he so... was gone like as like in the middle of that conversation. So you guys, I would say at this point is when you would realize he's gone, and he's already yeah, been so... listening and checking out stuff. So I'd say at this point, timelines converge. I'm going to run to the door. All right. Oh boy. As you are rounding the corner, you'd see Elias starting to peek and open the door a little bit. Lies, no! What? Nothing. I just listened. There's nothing over there. Are you sure about that? It sounds like just a fire. And it's not even locked anyway. So if there's anything over there, they could have just came over anyway. What do you think you'll find in there, huh? I don't know. Something Sin cool? Senef, you stay here. I don't plan on going anywhere, but... Okay. I have an alarm in the area. If you are in trouble, I will know. More of your devil magic, yes? Uh, uh, no, it's not... Del Delvin? I, I have uh, not, did I uh, pronounce it? It is... I am an elf. I, I am elvish. Devilish. Okay, okay. Uh, no, no, no. <laughs> elf. Elf. See my ears? Yes, they are sharp as knives. Ugh. I would like to sneak up behind um, Sniff and yep. just reach over her shoulder and just be like, it's elvish. Ah. Uh, that is what I said. It does, it's, it does not matter. No, I'm I didn't think so. She kind of uh, lightly smiles. But, yes, my elvish magic is going to protect you. You are welcome. And she kind of just heads off to the door. You will have my thanks when I get to Muhar. 
uh, as as Vivian rounds the corner, you see Elias uh, kind of doing this little excited dance uh, in front of the door, kind of pleading with Duncan to let him go in. Uh, and that dance kind of in- inspires you. Oh! You have bardic inspiration for an hour. Vivian or? Uh, Vivian. Yeah. Okay. He doesn't want to inspire his brother. His brother yeah. inspires him. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I get zero gallons of water. Oh, they're, they're, it should there it should be safe. Just a, just a fire in there. Plus, we're, we're just waiting down here anyway. Just a peek. Come on, just a peek. I don't think there could be anything good in there. And we found a we found a friend on this side. Why isn't there another friend on the other side? What friend? <laughs> Senef. Oh, she is not a friend. She is a burden at this point. Hey, Senef, are we friends? Oh, no, I am a citizen of Muhar, and you are travelers. Yeah, but like me and you, we're, we're, we're friends, right? I'm going to use Detect Magic. I suppose I could consider us acquaintances. Ritually, she to is see... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh... A one foot of stone. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna detect magic. Okay. Uh, tell you what, El- Elias, Elias. Um, give me a moment. Give me ten minutes. I will just make sure that this is safe before we open the door. And if it is safe, then we can open it. Is that okay? Yeah, yeah, that should be fine. Just ten minutes. Okay. Lean over, lean over to Duncan. You hear how she said my name in, de- in devilish? Yeah, she is quite devilish. <laughs> we'll wait ten minutes. All right, you sit down and wait for ten minutes as Vivian detect magic goes she, off. She's throwing petals. Okay. <laughs> around. <laughs> uh, you would notice the torch bears magic. Is it like, uh, could, like, um, just like creation magic or whatever you call it? I believe it's conjuration, yeah. Yeah, conjuration. Eternal flame. Yeah. And there's nothing, um, on the other side of the door that I would detect? No. You keep it up and running, though, don't you? Uh, I believe I can keep it up to 10 minutes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I suppose. I uh, well, I suppose then. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I'll follow after him. Okay. Close by, so I can keep track of any magical things. The door is openable. I thought Doza would be the first in. He's squishy. Uh, as you enter in, uh, you would enter into a large room, at least sixty feet wide at its widest scattered sconce light fills the room giving it some warmth with a trio of pillars stretching to the ceiling which is about 15 feet tall in here and to your west you see another door similar in make to the one that you just entered but smaller northwest is lined with weapons stuck in it that wall at least the northeast a large sculpture covering a doorway sculpture appears to be a monstrous looking woman with strange crown upon her head to the east lies a longer hallway also lit by a sconce near the entrance of that hall looks to be another doorway i'm gonna assume that all these fires are eternal flames yeah that is a safe Uh, assumption okay you definitely like they're they're lighting up they would definitely light up okay if you're if you get within 30 feet of them which you are not. Well, you're in 30 feet of one, so yes. What kind of well is this? Uh, well, it was uh, used for teleportation magic, according to uh, our uh, now-dead friend Esquire. Uh, so likely this was by uh, mages of some kind. These fires are all eternal... F- uh, I don't know that, but I'm assuming they are eternal flames because they are conjuration magic. Like wizards? Yes. Yeah, the crafty bastards. Uh, 
you're going to want to be careful. Uh, yeah, Wizards let traps. Let me uh, make the rounds, uh, and Vivian's going to carefully, basically, like, go around the room okay. to try and detect any traps or magic. Give me a perception check. I think Elias is following behind you, going, "Hey, can I touch that?" Hey, can, can, uh, can I would I like that? to use my bardic inspiration with that. Okay. It's a D six. Yeah. So fifteen. Guidance. Oh, okay. Only if you fail. Uh, uh, fifteen would be a success. As you would notice. <laughs> Uh, kind of between the pillars and between the pillars and the wall. Like, kind of as you get to here, you would notice it. Okay. Uh, some faint and loose gravel, as well as between the pillars here. You kind of look around and see the loose gravel around here as well. Okay. Uh, I would tell them, uh, mind, your, mind your step. There is some loose gravel. It could be a pitfall trap. It, lo it looks easy enough to kind of navigate around those areas. You can try to hop over it. Where where, where is it? Uh, in between the pillars. If we want to go north, it looks like. I'll draw we'll little little orange yeah. things or gravel. Um, uh, is there like a loose stone on the ground? I want to throw it into the gravel. Uh, the loose gravel <laughs> would be the loose stones wanna... on the ground. Yeah, I don't want to step on the loose stones though. But there's some bones right behind you. Yeah, I'll grab a bone and throw it at the gravel. Okay. Uh, where are you throwing it at? Go ahead and ping me where you're throwing this bone. Not near me, please. Alright, as you throw this bone at the gravel, it kind of shifts suddenly, making a loud clicking noise as these loose gravel is actually kind of hollow as it makes this... It doesn't boom, but it does... It makes that like, like a pop or a click as if you hit something hollow. And as it does, you would hear this... Uh, three times as the flames erupt and you would see three uh just double check their size oh, you did it Ah, oh, you did it don't get uh it. halfling sized he triggered the trap flaming <laughs> frogs appear on top of each of these sconces each of them does bear the face of a human, though. Ugh. And we're going to roll some initiative. <laughs> I went to all this trouble <laughs> you to did, make sure. You did find the trap. <laughs> okay. I would say also you would notice the door slam shut behind you. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> when awesome. when you threw it in? When he threw it in? When he threw it in. With that, as the fires erupt into these frog people, hard to tell, uh, you would notice the door slamming behind you all at okay. the same time. Uh, I'm going to swap with Doza. Does Doza want to swap with me? What? Exotic battle? Sure. It's because you're melee. That's fine. Uh, fair enough. Doza, you are up first, then. What are you doing? As these Go flaming frog-like creatures... <laughs> Right. I'm gonna run up here. As you run past the gravel, it would make this loud clicking noise echoing throughout the space. Wow, I was like, oh, the trap's already sprung. 
Yep. So he's gonna get he's gonna get a dagger. All right. Uh, ten is going to miss. Then I will use my inspiration. All right, but in the future, right. I will say, let me know that you're using the inspiration before I say if it's going to be a miss. But sorry, so I, 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 no, I, could, I, I should I get any time. Yeah, I don't get to know if no. uh, I had time. No, you okay. do not. I thought it was heroic inspiration. That, that's the same thing. They just, just they just have, it uh, heroic inspiration. Well, do, well, do I still have um, Bardic? Bardic. Uh, yeah, you, guys, you guys, you guys took a short rest first. Yeah, it should, should be gone. All so right, I'm gone. gonna re-roll this. All right, it is that's gonna be a miss. Worse. I'll do bonus action. <clears throat> I'll go ahead and spend a key point and do two unarmed strikes for five All right. blows. Let's see it. And it's also going to be a miss as this frog just oh, kind of just hopping in place there we go. There as you we go, go in. What is your what is your like fighting style like? Is it like quick jabs? Are you kicking it? Are you just oh, yeah. cat clawing just, or what? Uh, you know, pretty much whatever anything goes. Just like as long as I can try to make contact, and this is just all whiffing. Just like oh yeah. That was that was a haymaker. Oops. As your heart, it's hard to tell where the fire starts and where the frog begins. Uh, but your last one does hit. As you punch into it, it seems to kind of sink in a little bit and doesn't have as much effect as you were hoping. But you do hit it. Take that. That's my turn. All right. That will take us to. Vivian. Oh, okay. Um, I suppose I will. Um, uh, I don't want to use my arrows, but I will use my arrows. All right. Uh, I'm gonna shoot at this one. Shoot it. The oh. Nat twenty. Who who gets inspired by this shot? Uh, Duncan's right next to me. Sure. Seeing her take <laughs> perfect aim at this creature. Sorry. Do you something. already have inspiration? I do. Oh, that Elias. All right. Dealing 12 points of damage. As again, it, your arrow kind of burns up, even though this would have killed a normal whatever frog creature this is. I totally forgot to use Hunter's Mark first, but that's fine. Uh, is it still alive but just barely as it strikes into what you'd assume is this neck uh but the arrow burns up as it lets out a <laughs> bellow just a giant like uh, she cries a little inside uh, you can see its fires happens. ignite even further um and when did i use the spell uh you used it oh it's for... daring strike that's yeah. what I used. Okay. Uh, that's it. All right. All that will take us to Duncan. Uh, Duncan's gonna run up to this hurt one. First of all, he's gonna say, "I'm sorry. I'm sorry." Um. Uh, and uh, cast Shillelagh. All right. Getting your getting your whack and stick ready. Uh, yeah, you hit it. You whack it. As it explodes into fire, I do need Doza and Duncan both to give me a dexterity saving throw. I am glad I kept my distance. I am going to use my inspiration. All right. Uh, do you get to take the higher one with the inspiration? I'm not actually sure. We don't know what it does anymore. I'll let you take the higher one. Uh, you would each take three points of fire damage as it explodes. And it's just kind of explodes into flames that kind of light up the ground there. Anything else for Duncan? As both, uh, both those and Duncan do take three. No, that's it for me. All right. That will take us to these frog-like creatures as they leap over both of them. 
with long range, like just like one giant leap across the room. And one will strike out at Duncan, just kind of trying to touch out with their frog-like hands. And getting a 11 to hit. Miss. And the other one will try to also touch Doza. Getting a 12 to hit. As they both kind of reach out. They're slow and slow. They're still, still frogs or toads. Uh, it's kind of sluggish. But kind of fiery about as you both easily dodge their uh, kind of attacks. That will take us to Elias. Uh, Elias will head forward. I uh, bring out his dagger. I uh, he's gonna winkle strike. No changing it from the slash, huh? Why does it do that? That was weird. A twenty-one, 21 will definitely hit it. Six points of radiant. As your slash lights up the creature, it did not like that at all. Fire kind of starts to explode out of its side where you stab it. Mm. Very good. Hey, uh, good shot, baby, and by the way, uh, that'll be it. All right, that will take us to Doza, top of the round. <clears throat> a little stabby stab. All right, give me a stab out with your dagger. Eight's going to be a miss, unfortunately. After that Bonus explosion, action. fire's still all around you. It just makes you miss. Yeah. Or, you know, I'm just terrible at this. It's not the spear you're used to. I'm going to bonus action disengage. All right. And move over. And it tries to croak in your direction. All right. That'll take us to Vivian. Um, I will Hunter's Mark. All right. That one. And I will shoot at it with an arrow. Give me that shot. Ooh, nice. That is unfortunately going to be a miss as you, as your arrow ignites into flames uh, before it even gets a chance to hit it. That's it. All right. That will take us back to Duncan. All right. Duncan's going to just swing at this one that's... Uh... Uh, Croaking at you. Yeah. All right. Twenty-one will be a hit. He's dealing nine. nine points of force damage as your your shillelay just kind of wax, and you would hear that rattling kind of behind you as that force explodes from the stones as well, just kind of like reverberation as it explodes into liquid hot magma. Uh, I will need Duncan to give me a dexterity save. All right, with a 21, you do take three points of fire damage as it explodes. I took three before when I failed. That was a, that was a pass. Oh. For, with a, okay. With a 12? Like, probably a DC 10. Okay. 11, but yeah. Uh, you have learned that it's less than 12. Or <laughs> higher than, or, you know, around 12 right. or, or, you know. Yeah. Anything else for Duncan? Uh, that'll be it for Duncan. And will take us to this magma toad as it is going to try to hop around and as it does it just kind of kick tries to kick Elias in the face getting a 23 to hit uh, this time I'll let it hit okay as you take nine points of fire damage and your clothes and everything ignites into fire as you are lit ablaze. And that will take us to Elias. It is your turn. Ah, ah, hot, hot, hot. I'll put myself out. All right, with your action, putting yourself out. 
as you yeah. stop, drop, and roll, essentially putting out the fires as you are no longer ablaze. Um, ba -ba. I'm just going to have to take more fire damage when we kill this guy. All right, I'll do it. Yes, All ball. right. And yes. We'll take us to Doza. I'm going to throw one of the daggers. All right. Not the special dagger. Not the dagger. special dagger. All right. Let's see a thrown dagger. Ninja Star. Uh, 15 will hit. As it also explodes, and I will need Elias to give me a dexterity save. So Elias, I, you take seven points of fire damage. I'm still up, but not by a lot. As you are also, once again, caught on fire. We'll say we can end combat there as you guys uh, have defeated all of these enemies within. You see Elias on fire, you can easily put him out. I'm on yeah, fire! I'm, I'm on fire! Help. help me, Tom Cruise! Help me, Oba Winfrey! <laughs> I'm gonna cast I'm going heal to healing healing. Pick word. up my dagger. Alright. Healing word? Yeah. Oh, do I. Yeah, it's in your attacks. Oh, okay. That's right. Well, it's in both places, but the dice rolls in the attacks. Why should get seven hits, hit points? Nice. Uh, I think I will cure wounds myself as well. All right. What did we learn, Elias? Oh, well, that would have been enough. Oh wow. Yeah. Oh, I'll take it. Cure wounds is great. <laughs> yeah, I'm full. And then so. You say, what did, would you say what did we learned, Duncan? Yeah. What we, did we learn, Elias? <laughs> <laughs> what what did we learned? We learned uh, that you like to set traps off. I didn't do shit. Uh, uh, yes, it, Duncan. Maybe maybe we don't do that next time. You said it was a pit trap. I was trying to... I said maybe. Uh, I'd like to try to open the door. It's locked. But it's okay. Let we... Everyone's okay. Everyone's alive. Let's not dwell on it. The, uh, the, the, this door is, is locked. Uh, is the door we came in from? Uh, oh, is that the that's one he the door came he on checked, for? Yeah. Okay. Uh, well, can it... I thieves tools? You can always try. As you pull out your, your thieves tools, give me a sleight of hand check. The 12. Unfortunately, lock's a little too complicated. Actually, triple check. No, uh, that opens it up. <laughs> 12 is just, it's like, this is kind of strange for a moment. There's some sand stuck in it uh, and it, it's not too bad. It's a simple lock. Alright. We're not trapped in here. Okay. I personally have had enough of this death trap. Yes, I, I think we should uh, maybe head back. You have enough exploration for a day. What? No, this, this place is cool. I need to rest, Duncan. I need to rest, Elias. Um, what day? What time is it? What time of day? Is it uh, still early? around noon, ish. You guys, you guys got here around midday, so you I spent an hour. So it's like one, one thirty. Uh, can I? Am I able to hear the storm outside? Give me a perception check from down here. I would say your passive perception is oh, enough. You don't need. Like... Yeah. Uh, you do hear occasional thunder and wind, still kind of blustering in occasionally. Okay. This uh, uh, statue looks real important. Uh, maybe we don't touch that. Uh, it is actually a statue and a door. It's covering sculpture covering the doorway. Why can't we see in here? Because it's behind the the light. Oh, I see. Oh, but you can see. Yeah. That's your dark vision. 
Yeah, my, my dark vision isn't letting me see behind it. You can see behind it. It's just very dark. There's not much behind it. It, he, it, oh. it lets you... Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah. Yep, I have turned I your dark vision in. into dark, dark vision. That's there's what you see. A, uh, there's a path this way. And uh, there's a path the other way, but there's no torches the other way. Oh, it's a door. There's oh. a door. Is this a door? Can I that, investigate that, the door? That is traps? a door, Doza. And yes, that is a door. All right, you mm -hmm. guys are both going two different directions. Maybe we try and stay one direction. Mm -hmm. oh, right out of time. Okay. Right. Vivian, uh, want to come over, come over okay, here by I'll, us? I'll, I'll join Vivian. Okay. Vivian, give okay. me a, a investigation check. One direction yes. is a pretty good... Um, With a 90. Yeah, help your party name. One Direction. Uh, it doesn't appear to be trapped, and honestly, doesn't appear to be locked. Uh, this door is uh, probably safe. Who wants to uh, do the honors? Elias, uh, you're adventurous. I am adventurous. Thank you for noticing. I, I will walk up and open the door. I'll put my bow at the ready. Is there anything right. in these uh, these vases or pots or what have you? Give me an investigation check. As Elias opens the door into a lit hallway that turns uh, southward. With an 18 investigation. Sounds like there's coins in them. I'm going to pick one of them up. Well, the, you, can't, you can't put your hand in them. And it's I, weird. It seems like you can only... You would have to break the pot to get whatever coins are in there out. So I can't lift the pot up. You can lift the pot up. But the, the opening isn't big enough for the coins. If you lift it up and kind of shake it out, they won't come out. Huh. It's a piggy bank. Kind of. That might be How'd a trap they get too. in there, though? Did they get fired? Did the, did the pot get fired with the, them inside of it kind of deal? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to smash it on the ground. Okay. As you smash it on the ground, uh, a pile of ash and dust spews everywhere, uh, along Maybe with two gold coins within. Immediately turns around. <laughs> <What's that? laughs> you hear a loud crash. Uh, yeah, the got, got gold. Dosa, do not go cashing your things. Okay. Uh, although it is a smart idea. We don't know if, you know, the same gold that we used back home works here. So having some local currency. It I seems to be true. faceless gold flattened coins. So it's not the same currency that we use? It's more like a, like a chit. It doesn't have any, like face on it or like any no, markings <clears throat> it would actually have a little hole at the top of each of them kind of like a not like a medallion but kind of like a medallion but or like denote like a den denotation one gold uh, okay. but Elias kind of creeping down the hall oh. you would see uh, that it is kind of a... Where are we at here? Looks like yeah. it's down. And there is a darkened hallway that looks to be a little bit ruined. Uh, suffered some sort of collapse. The ground looks to sink lower as you go down, the further you go in. It seems like there was a cave-in, something over here. Or like a sinkhole kind of thing. So, no, another door, and then uh, it just keeps on going. I can't really see that far. I can, I can send Skillet down there if you think it'll help. Yeah, oh. yeah, send, send him down. Uh, skillet. As you then... say, yeah, send him down, and he takes a few steps down. 
I need a dexterity saving throw from Elias. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Twelve. Twelve is a failure. Uh oh. Uh, as Elias, he says, yeah, send him down. Elias goes tumbling down the hallway, kind of crashing into... That far down. That Dang. far down. Into a darkened room. Seems to be some place of worship, although severely broken in many ways. You do see kind of pottery lying all over the place, and what looks to be a stone altar split in two. Uh, actually, you probably would have landed like, boop, there. Uh, well, nah, that's fine. Uh, but... Disheveled paper atop the altar. You see a little glint of gold within the place. However, there are two large cockroach-like creatures with long furred antennas. Looks like they're kind of munching on something, and both their antennas glean to your direction. As we are once again, kind of go back to initiative. <laughs> uh, Elias, you do also fall prone and take five points of bludgeoning damage. Ow. <clears throat> I have no spells. Half my hit points. Well, the good news is you guys keep rolling better than all my monsters. Elias, you are up first. What are you doing? Uh, I'm okay. Oh shit! I uh, I get up and I start heading back. One, two. Oh shit! Oh. Uh, hey, uh, there's some bugs there. as I'm scrambling up trying to climb. It is difficult terrain for the length of this hallway. Yep. Uh, and then action dash. One, two, three. Well, that's it. Alright. We'll take us to Duncan. Um, can I help Elias get up uh can he's I... climbing i mean you can climb down if you want you did notice I... he fell down just because of the poor footing can i come up here and hold my action until he gets closer and help help pull him up uh it might help if he i will say if you like threw a rope down okay i don't have a rope i don't think do i no our rope um, is, uh... i do have a i do have a silk rope i'm gonna i'm gonna throw a silk rope down all right. Throw a silk rope down the hallway. Anything else for Duncan? Um, that's it. All right. We'll take us to Vivian. I'm gonna hold. I'm gonna ready a, an action of my bow. Okay. Uh, if anything hostile uh, comes up the hallway to attack uh, Elias. Alright. And I can see, like, all the way up to here. Absolutely Not can. Him. Yeah. It's it's so, darkness, but yeah. I can barely see, but I can see. Yep. I made, I made y'all's dark visions even more dark. To, yeah. To, to truly represent dark vision. Love it. Uh, she's concentrating all right. <laughs> on, on ready. That will take us to Doza. I'm just going to come up here and shut the door. <laughs> 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 and I'll, uh, I'll come over here so I can see. Okay. And you you would see what you see? Turn. Yep, that's my turn. going to wait. All right, that's gonna take us to these monsters. Oh. Uh, as they are going to, yeah, round the corner, and like kind of climbing along the walls, you can make a shot at one of them. If you if you would like another nat twenty, uh, which one do you want to shoot, left or right? Uh, 
the, the, the one right underneath him. And who do you inspire? And who do you inspire with that nat 20? Uh, I would imagine that Doza shows up in the room as uh, Vivian just shoots nice. off a flourish of a shot. For 14 uh, there's points like of damage. Petals that come out for some reason. It's very weird. Nobody knows where these petals come from. The petals immediately turn uh, to ash. Doza's eyes do the uh, anime sparkle where he's just so <laughs> impressed. <laughs> Alright, and one of them is fast enough to get an attack on Elias as they have they have a climb speed climbing along these walls here. Uh, and it is going to... Try to bite you, Elias. Getting a 22 to hit. Yeah. As you take two points of piercing damage. Uh, as it bites onto your leg and the other one just its antennas are kind of just trying to kind of feel around. That tickles. That will take us to your turn, Elias. Uh, I am going to scramble up kicking down as I go, uh, effectively disengaging. All right. Um, and, and I'm going to use this rope to help me pull myself up. So uh, I'll say, Duncan, give me an athletics check to see how how much it helps you. Duncan, throw me an athletics. Uh-oh. Not good. Duncan. I can. He said that's not good. What's not good? Well, you didn't roll it. We didn't hear you. I want you to roll an athletics, Duncan. You're Duncan. You're Duncan. You're Duncan. Duncan. I'm Elias. He's I'm Elias. Elias. I forgot who I was. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it helps having the rope there, so your, your speed is 20 feet, as opposed to 15. Uh, uh, okay. That will and take us to your turn, Duncan. Um, so, uh, you can try to pull him the rest of the way if you want to use another athletics check with your action. Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. All right, give me an athletics check. 12 would be I'll say just enough to like get him like the rest of the way up Elias come on let's get out of here yeah, he pulls me up I instantly give him a hug yeah, oh, a, oh, oh, okay yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah let's go alright <clears throat> okay um, I'm gonna pull the pull, pull the rope up okay store it um or just like throw it over my shoulders and uh, yeah i got gotcha. you really head quick for like the head for the door all right why is it closed <laughs> <laughs> it's not closed he was okay. just messing with you uh anything else for duncan that's it i'll take it to vivian uh i'm gonna shoot the same one again all right 18 will hit it. Five points of piercing damage as it kind of squelches into it. And it kind of skids off the side of the wall there for a moment. Uh, yeah, that's it. All right, taking us to Doza. All right, I'm gonna run over here. All right, Doza, as you step there. I want watch your step. <laughs> Does anyone warn him to watch the step? Yeah, yeah. As I pull, as okay. I'm coming up. Yeah. You can give me an acrobatics check. All right, kind of noticing the the floor as it shifts downward at weird angles, uh, and with the help from Elias telling you. Uh, yeah, your movement is perfectly fine there. Which one did you shoot? There's a couple of arrows sticking out of the one on the wall. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna throw my dagger. 
All right. Not the special dagger. A 16 will hit it. Doza, can you get my arrows after you kill it? As it takes five points of piercing damage. It's still up. Yeah. These are tough. These are these roaches are about the size of a of well, uh, like Vivian. They're the size of a large dog. Yeah, then I'm gonna move back here and say, nope, no arrows. They will be coming to us. All right. Arrow delivery. That will take us to their turn. As they scamper up the wall. Uh, one of them will brush. What kind of armor you got, Elias? Leather. Studded, I think. Yeah, you got studs. studs. Uh, it is going to brush... One of them is going to brush its antennas on you. And I need a dexterity save. Tickles, stop it. Alright, seeing like it's like feeling around your armor pretty well. You just kind of wiggle around, not allowing its uh, antenna to kind of touch you in a in a bad way. Uh, the bad, other, bad touch. Yep, the bad touch. The other one is going to try to bite you. Actually, yeah, let's say the one that's on the wall is the one that's going to try to bite you. Getting an 18 to hit. That one hits too. All right, as you take five points of piercing damage. As it bites into you. This one seems more angry than the other one. The other one just seems to be kind of brushing the area around. That will take us to your turn, Elias. This one has, like, you know, cockroach guts hanging out of it. I, I will turn to the injured one, and I'm going to... Twinkle strike! All right. 21, 21 will definitely hit, hit it. Six points of radiant. Six points of radiant damage. As you stab into it and pull your blade out, as the twinkle starts to fade away from your casting, you would notice that your dagger has been corroded. Of course. You now have minus one to attack and damage with it. Or no, it's just damage, not attack rolls. Uh, fortunately, I, yeah. Still up, though? He, he does kind of squelch and slide off the side of the wall there. Gotta do at least 30 points of damage. Almost. Yeah. Uh, blah, blah. Can I stay here? I... Uh, as I... As I plunge my knife uh, or dagger into this one. I pull it out and I kind of shake my hips a little bit, do a little shimmy. Uh, and uh, Doza? Doza can be inspired. Got Bardic. Alright. Uh, that's my turn. That will take us to Duncan. Uh, that's me. Yes, it is you. <laughs> um... I am going to uh, look look behind me and see that no one is following behind me to try to uh, escape. So I'm going to run back in. Say, what's going on? We need to get out of here. Uh, not for lack of trying, there, Duncan. Uh, just just move through the door. Um, can I can I run up and and hit this this one on Elias? Um, I'll say you can at disadvantage as you share space for like a brief moment. It's tight. We're little brothers. I know. Halflings have a special thing where they can share space for a moment. Uh, so with disadvantage, a 10 is going to be a miss. Okay. Um, can I use my the, the rest of my movement to push Elias back? <laughs> 
Uh, it would be an action to shove a friendly ally. Okay. Then I'll just stay here. All right, that will take us to Vivian. Uh, get out of my way, you two. Uh, I'm gonna shoot this at thi the thing. This thing's taller than them. <laughs> I'm still gonna tell them to get out of my way. That's fair. <laughs> oh, Nine is gonna be a I, miss as they're in your way. I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> uh, you're in my way. Uh, that's it. <laughs> Alright, that will take us to Doza. It's the thought we were leaving. And I'm going to... Can I do some acrobatic shit? To get, like, over top of... Like, to do some, like, wall climbing shit? Yeah, give me an acrobatic check. Yeah. Oof. Uh, yeah, you do that and go tumbling I'm all... gonna use my inspiration. Okay. Because that's... I can't get inspiration again. So. That's true. So... All right. 22. As you nearly slip and see like what could happen, as you probably would have gone tumbling down. I, the, my claw the comes out and I grab and like kind of like grab the the creature in front of me inappropriately because I'm behind him. The bad touch. <laughs> and he will take an eleven. An eleven hit it is going to be a miss as you punch into this like armor plating. All right, that's not the spot. Let's do... You do have Bardic. Oh, I do have Bardic. Which you can, you can use, use after the fact. I mean, let me use Bardic on that. A 13 is still going to be a miss, unfortunately. All right, well, I'm still going to use a key point and do uh, two unarmed strikes. All right. 17 will hit. Nine points. Yeah, is this one you kind of get under the plating and just you hear the squelching? I just can't can't get that. A seven is going to be a miss. Let's see, I've done. Yep. All right. That's all. That will take us to the creature. Duncan, I need a dexterity saving throw. Is this thing's antenna lash out towards you? All right. With did, a... did we not hit this thing at all? Doza uh, just... Doza just did. Okay. Oh, nine. I see. Yeah. Uh, as it looks to be going for your chain shirt that you're wearing, and you just kind of like push it away with your shillelagh. That'll take us to Elias. Twinkle strike. All right. Baiting, whether or not dipping in that 20 that will hit it Just remember it's minus one for damage so, uh, do... so minus two total then? no just not nah, just uh oh yeah no no uh, i don't know how that works no it's just minus one modifiers are just once All right that modifier yep uh so, so be six ten. or no ten i can do math just deal 10 points and now your weapon deals one less point of damage as it is like a nub of what this dagger used to be. Uh, is that the that. infamous creeper strike? That is my turn. Uh, oh yeah, uh, who gets inspiration? Uh, somebody gets it. Who all who all has it? Nobody. Uh, Vivian sees the twinkle strike. Everybody sees it. Uh, Vivian can have inspiration though. She, she was she was wanting you to get out of the way. But instead, she's inspired by you. Uh, anything else for Elias? That's it. That'll take us to Duncan. A real Duncan this time. <laughs> uh, twinkle Strack. Um, he is going to look at a point 30 feet in front of him down in the in the depths of the uh, the the whatever this ruined uh, area yeah. is that, that Elias fell down. And I'm going to cast Minor Illusion um, and create kind of a, uh, a shimmering, um, sparkly, golden statue. Okay. 
make you all would see an illusion of a sparkly golden statue down the way. Anything else for Duncan? I'll just um, I'll just say I, th I think it's attracted to the to sparkly things. All um, right. Can I um? Would it would it be possible to also um just like throw my cloak as much as possible over my armor? I mean, flavor wise, sure. Okay. Essentially, it'd be the, you're wanting to take the dodge action, but spell. Yeah. All right, that will take us to Vivian. Uh, she'll shoot again. All right. 18 will strike it. Eight. As it takes eight points of piercing damage as it looks to be kind of reaching out for Duncan's uh, armor once more. As it is, you just kind of right between the... Actually, uh, yeah, in the eyes as it squelches down into the ground. A squirt, you know. Squirt noise, squelch noise. I can't make it very well. I'm not even going to try. It does uh, get the arrows. As super the rush monsters are done. I like to look for the arrows, see if they have been uh, destroyed by the acid. I would say, knowing Vivian, they wouldn't be destroyed by the acid because they are probably wooden and stone or just wooden. Uh, but give me a. Roll me a D100, Doza. Uh, you get one arrow back. The I'll others were scan. kind of ruined. This is the uh, this is all this one could find, and uh, presents you both paws one arrow. Uh, um, merci, mon chéri. And then I'm gonna. Check this door beside me. Watch your watch your step. That's that's what I was doing. See, Doze's, I, I, Doze's cat like reflexes are, are pretty good mm -hmm. for this at the moment. I want to ah. see if it look for look for obvious traps. Give me I an mean, investigation check. Duncan was saying he's really tired, so I mean maybe we take a rest. I mean for Duncan, of course. Yeah. Uh, for... it does not look trapped. You do see a. A lock on it. I would say with your investigation, it does appear to be locked. And you would, you would, you would note ahead. some fire coming from within as well. I'll try to unlock it. Okay. Give me a sleight of hand check. Oof. Good news is you do get inspiration. <laughs> Bad news is these tools break as they snap off inside of the lock. Wait, didn't he have inspiration from earlier? Failed acrobatics? I think he used it. He used it already on the acrobatics. Yeah. But I thought you used that in the inspiration that I gave you on the acrobatics because then you failed You can the only acrobatics. have one acrobatics. Can I, can I guidance? Pass the acrobatics. You can't guidance your way out of a net one. Out of a net one. Yeah. And okay, he, so he's got Bardic though. But I can guidance after someone fails. So after you tell no, someone that they smart. fail, I can guidance. Yes. Okay. And that's not that's different than inspiration. Yes. Yes. Okay. And different than bardic inspiration. Well not, not confusing at all. Okay. Shit. And then I just like punch punch the lock. Because I'm pissed. Can I try to break the lock by punching it? Absolutely. Give me an athletics check. <laughs> All right. How many things do we have to tempt? <laughs> Jeez. Uh, you hurt your hand more than anything. This is a sturdy door. <laughs> Take one point of damage. <laughs> but I don't. I try not to show it. You hear a loud thud. 
And goes his hands are behind his back. There another I'm one of them mugs. A... I, I, I try to pass it off like I didn't hurt myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Do you this, guys hear uh, that? There another one of them bugs behind that door, Doza? This door is uh, locked, and I broke my tools. Ah, shit. Uh, well, maybe we go the the other side, or perhaps, uh, Elias, you you don't look so good. I, I'm I'm doing doing okay. I I mean, if we need to take a break, uh, D Duncan, you, you you're doing good. We need, to, we need a break. Uh, yeah. Well, you know, uh, I, I I could use a break, but um, you know, if if uh, I'm I'm happy to keep going if other people wanna keep going i i think that maybe we shouldn't be tempting as much fate here especially um today yeah, yeah i think duncan might be right we should probably you know stay back a little bit take a little breather okay. i'm gonna go and see if uh Sinef is still here I cannot move my character. Oh, because I have to put you on a wall. Oh, okay. Follow Elias. Uh, but as you make your way back to the entrance, Sinep is still there. Is the uh, storm still raging? Uh, to ask Sinef. Uh, yeah, obviously, as you look up and, and see the winds raging above and just kind of arcs of lightning crashing beyond. So you, you don't know what this place is as well? You just came in here for shelter? That's what I said, isn't it? This place is big. There's a lot down here. There are many places like this, I'm sure, throughout the land. I'm it's... just gonna come over here and start meditating. Okay. Yeah, I'll take a short rest. As you guys attempt to take a short rest, uh, we're going to take our short rest in real life as we uh, take a little break here for five or ten minutes. So we'll take our little breather here, uh, meet back at about ten after at the latest. So stick around, folks. Uh, we'll be back here in a few. We'll be back. Uh, ten minutes? Ten minutes. Five, ten minutes. Well, alrighty, folks, uh, we are back, and last we left, getting caught in this sandstorm with raging thunder and lightning, you guys started to actually, due to some curiosity of one of you, started to do some delving into this place, finding flaming toads and rust monsters. Uh, you decided to try and take a, a little bit of a breather and that's where we left off. You guys headed back to the entrance to get a little one-hour rest. As uh, you guys can definitely get a, a a short rest in here. Thank goodness. No. But Senef just kind of looks like still eyeing up the storm every now and then. So bad. We all rolled pretty low on our hit dice. Yeah, you did. Um, and I get a wild shape back. I think you do. Okay. I don't okay. think I get anything on short rest. Yeah, all I get is a little bit of a uh, help back. Those it gets all of his. Key points, focus points, uh, and whatever they call them, points. Discipline points. Discipline. Martial arts die. He gets martial arts stuff back. Focus. Focus. I, I think they should call it focus. But. Would we all drink water on our short <clears throat> Just rest? call it karate. I get my karate back. 
I'd say you'd be drinking it throughout the day. Uh, so like except Vivian. Except Vivian. I won't. I won't collect water until the end of the day. Okay. Um, uh, Monsieur Duncan, uh, could could you maybe make some more water? Is that something? Uh... Um. Yeah, yeah, hold, hold, hold on, here, um, I'll hand over my water skin, poof, water. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, no, no mercy, I still have my, uh, my blood, uh, vulture blood. D don't, uh, Vivian, do not drink that shit, um, here, here, just please. We'll, we'll share today. I'll I'll make some more tomorrow. Okay. Uh, well, to be honest, I already poured it out. It was it was going bad. Uh, thank you. How, how did you know it was going bad? <laughs> I, I sniffed it. Uh, yeah. Um, it was it... congealed. It like hardened. Mm-hmm. Yes. Senef looks absolutely disgusted. You guys talking about this? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I, I imagine Doza just <laughs> just sitting there staring at her the entire time. Doza, Doza she, went around the corner. Is oh, okay. she um? Is she still charmed? Has it been an hour yet? She's, oh, it will be after she's this. She's not red. still charmed. Yeah, Do Doza's over here next to this fire, just getting all cozy and meditating. Cute. Um, thank you for the for the rest. Um, I'm I'm, assu I'm assuming the storm is still it would going be. on. Um, nothing left to do but explore. All right. Um, let's go slower this time. Uh, yes, let's be careful. See if there's a, a way out the the other side, perhaps of the well. That would be good. Maybe there's a, a a way around the storm. Perhaps there's water. Yeah, Let's go take there's a look. Even a door back home. <laughs> yes, if only. All right, which like, which way are we going? Are you good? Uh, done done resting. Do uh, need some cat stretches and run. Oh, well, uh, uh, all right. He's he's good to go. All right, let's not fall behind. Okay, he can go up front. Uh, all right, you okay. you enter this this large chamber once again. Uh, let's go to the right this time. But we uh, uh, we know that the uh, the bugs are, are are dead. We can go that way to the left. I, it was dark down there, but it seemed like there was some sort of altar, uh, like a place of worship that was falling into some sort of disarray. I uh, I did see a couple more of those uh, shiny coins down there. Uh. An altar sounds like a bad thing. I'm going to have to agree with Vivian there. Um, a decrepit altar is not my idea of a good time. I mean, I think as long as we don't touch nothing. I mean, those bugs were crawling around down there. Uh, as long as there's not any more, I think we should be all right. Well, at the very least, we did not see a way out that way, did we? No, no, it just was dark down there. Then let's maybe I'm try to back. go the other way and see what's there. Yeah. Uh, before we go any further, I, I think that my previous dagger just couldn't withstand the force of my twinkle strike. Uh, and it kind of deteriorating a bit. Is any, you guys in it? Anybody have a, an extra dagger I could I could borrow? And Doza will reluctantly like 
pull one of his seven daggers out and hand them to hand it to him. Much appreciated. I mean, there's there's some weapons on the table over there. That's the wall. Yeah, they look but... like they are they are stuck into the wall over there. Yeah, and those look like they've been there, and they have a purpose for being there, and I don't want to mess with their purpose. Uh, Elias, I'm proud of you. Yeah, that was a test. You passed. <laughs> <laughs> it, Elias nervously laughs, knowing that if he was healthier, he would definitely grab one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, uh, so, uh, to the right we go then. Ah, the cat is moving. Alright, as you head right, there is another door to the right. Look for traps. Give me an investigation check. Can I help him with, uh, with my uh, proficiency in investigation? If you go up there and help him, sure. Yeah, I plan to. Yeah, roll, roll with advantage, Doza. All right, with a 14. Uh, you don't see any traps on it. You, It does appear to be locked. Well, I, I broke... This one broke his, uh, his tools. I cannot get in this door. Um, I don't have any means of lockpicking. Okay. Uh, oh, oh, hold on. Uh, I have fishing tackle. Can you maybe use that as makeshift? Duncan's got a big old stick. Can I try using fishing tackle? Um, I'll say sure. You can try. You can give me a slight of hand at disadvantage. <laughs> My fishing tackle gives you some hooks and like some little pins meant for lining the the hooks. Uh, oh. You don't break the tools, but they you do not unlock this door. Uh, no, no, dice. no, it is no, no, no good. Okay. Then I'm going to, uh, again, punch the lock. Give me an athletics check. Alright, uh, with an 18, yeah, you punch into it, and you do break the lock. open the door all right as you open the door ahead of you you would see a pit what the a, hell is a, this a just place? stairs going down about 15 feet and then a pit descending into darkness hmm. nope is not the way we're going <laughs> <laughs> Okay, onwards. No, 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 nothing in there. <laughs> nothing for us, no. Okay. What what's in this direction? Uh, in that direction, it would be. Uh, Vivian and Doza would both notice, with a keen perception, something seems off about the sconce here. Like the angle of it seems somewhat different than the others that you had seen. It's not quite into the wall as it should be. Yeah, I was gonna say, uh, as we move here, uh, Vivian's keeping an eye out for traps or anything that looks out of place. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna and take a look, a closer look at the sconce. Give me an investigation check. Alright, with a 15. Uh, you would notice a small stone button on the back side of it. Um, I'm not going to tell them about it. <laughs> okay. It looks to be well hidden. Like, it's on it's on the side of the wall. Okay. Uh, uh, oh, I'm so tempted to press it. It's really fun to push the buttons. It really is. No. No. Uh, 
Well, it was well hidden, so... Um... That's the yeah, spirit. She, she would struggle with it for a bit, just like, oh, oh no, do, do I tell them? Oh, uh, oh, amis, um, oh, I fear I must, I must be honest with you all. I've uh, been struggling with this for the past uh, past minute. There's a button, and I really want to press it. Oh, you're sad. Yeah, so it just kind of crawls up, like, little, his claws are out, like, on your leathers. It's like, push it, push it. Wait, let, 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 us, let us just back up for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's a good idea. Oh, perhaps can your owl, can the skillet reset? Yeah, yeah, that's a, that's an idea. Skillet! Okay, come, come, Doza. He comes kind of hopping around the door corner. Okay, Skillet, there's a, there's a button over there, uh, by the, by the fire. Uh, where, where exactly, Vivian? Uh, it's behind the scones, uh, close to the wall. Yeah, yeah, go go hit that button by the um, behind the scone. Ted kind of cocks and just kind of screeches. I just as it goes flying over. Presses the button. You guys would hear in the distance somewhere stones grinding. As he pushes the button, Elias kind of uh, moves Vivian out of the way just a little bit, and then nothing happens. Nothing happens. Uh, 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 oh, precise. am I too tall? Oh no, I just didn't know if there was me. Something happened. Well, everybody's okay. Uh, I'm gonna uh, open the store. Does anything change down here? Nothing changes down there. Okay, I'm gonna close it. <laughs> All right. You don't want to leave it's... the door to the pit open? No. No. It's when you no. gaze into the pit, the pit gazes back. Yeah. Um, okay. Uh, did anything... like, like, if I could lock that door, I would, but I can't because I broke the lock. Broke it. Uh, is there anything different about this door over here? No. So I would say it sounds like it came from the hallway. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, okay. As, as Elias is, is quickly slinking down oh. the hall. Elias, Duncan, I think your brother is gone again. I'm not gone. I'm right over here. Remember the cockroaches? Les coquerelles. <laughs> Elias, <laughs> as you step there, you would hear stone grinding on stone underneath your foot. This almost grinding click beneath your oh. feet. I don't move. Um, you would see holes all along the side of the wall open up. Around nothing him and us? Around the entirety of this hall. Oh. Uh, nothing seems to happen, though. Elias? As soon as they start to open up around us, I'm going to book it. All right. And use my like speed to get around the corner. Uh, Assuming uh, that we're going to get shot at. All right. As you speed around the corner, uh, nothing happens in the hallway, but you bend around it. The first thing you would notice is what looks to be a dwarf fully lit on fire, kneeling at a crumbling statue. Around him, a couple of skeletons in this brightly lit room, candles and sconces all lit even brighter than normal. The statue's so battered, but has a lot of gold lining it, indicating some significance and great value. I'm going to trust that Vivian turned off the trap with that button, and I'm going to continue down the stairs. That was that was Skillet who did that. Well, Vivian identified it. Does the uh, dwarf notice that I'm here? Dwarf turns towards you. No, no, no. And you oh. would notice he has no eyes. Oh, God. Uh, do you speak common, sir? Does this one speak common? A little bit. What brings you in the presence 
of gold. Uh, we uh, were trying to escape a uh, storm. You, you know you're on fire, right? Gold is, is known to do this. Are, are you Goal? I am one known as Goal. Yes. Well, Goal, you're on fire. I lack a reaction. That's normal. Okay. Um, I would assume I was my just status on fire. has been unchanged. I was just on fire just a little bit ago, and it hurt real bad. So, uh, what, what are you what are you doing down here? I tend to Aziza. I make sure the fires are lit so that she can see her way to the beautiful afterlife. Hopefully Neb will guard her path. Well, uh, this one does a excellent job. Well, well done. Why do you have no eyeballs? Those faithful to Aziza have taken to her likeness. She sacrificed hers so that some others could see. We in turn sacrifice ours so that she may see. Uh, is, is, is Aziza, that's the, the sculpture above that one doorway up, up top? Is that what that was? I am unsure of what sculpture you speak of. Yeah, hey, you can't. For see I have it not laid my eyes upon them. Yeah. Not yeah, in this I, life. I see how that could be a problem. Um, does uh, Aziza does she also require require um a tongue sacrifice? Oh yeah. Aziza spoke many times. At least when she was alive. What about but, this Neb, Neb guy? Is this Neb? Does he have a tongue? Neb is the great servant who guards the path of all the dead. Would would a follower would a follower uh, also remove the tongue? Is what I'm asking. I would see. I would not see. <laughs> what purpose removing one's tongue would do? It we seems mentioned... a very distasteful sacrifice. Yeah. <laughs> distasteful. Uh, Vivian's gonna give him a little punch on the shoulder. <laughs> um, I only ask because we were told to come here by an elderly woman. Well, she didn't really tell us because, you know, no tone. Uh, but, yes, well, but she, well, she gave us this location. She was also missing her eyes. Ah, another faithful. Perhaps Aziza will find her way in the afterlife after all. Especially after the great Pharaoh Octopot gifted her with eyes to see. Is there's that Octopot guy again. Oh, uh, the cat god. He's feral? I did not think he was a cat. He is the ruler oh, of these lands. Gross. Are you not of these lands? Uh, that uh, depends. Insight. Can I insight check him? See if he if that is like a hostile kind Give of Give me man. an insight yeah. check. <laughs> that was going to be my that depends. Uh, our guidance. Heart. Yeah, okay, yeah, I would say six is a failure. And you're lucky he can't see you cast guidance. Uh, but add a deep board to that. <laughs> nope. Uh, hard to read, especially because he's got no eyes to give away his emotions. Uh, then uh, Vivian's going to say what she was going to say. Uh, that depends. Uh, do we hate outsiders? Hate is a strong term. Not one I would use. 
I hate those that defile that which was set in stone so many years ago. Like a bunch of weapons in the wall. I get it. I do not know of what you speak. He would not be. He would not see them. Yeah, but they're set in stone. Uh, yes, I simply them. ensure that the fires are lit. Is do you call this entire um, area your home, or just this one room? I would not call this my home. I would call this Aziza's watch. Ah, Aziza's watch. Uh, I'm gonna write that on my map. Okay. <laughs> Where uh, there's a, there's a, a teleporter up top. Do you know where that goes? Supposedly long ago. Yeah, actually, give me a persuasion check. <laughs> also, I love how we just totally distracted him from the question. <laughs> that is also a failure. Guidance. <laughs> you can guidance that one. Yep. All right, with a fourteen. Ah, uh, you are not familiar. It is said long ago, for my time, where I was summoned to serve, there were great teleportation devices all throughout Parakir, many places of importance. But they go to other places in Harakir. That is what I said, yes. Yeah. Yeah, of course. Of course. I mean, of course. Why, why would it go anywhere else? Yeah. Have you ever left the watch? This is this place? This is my duty. This is my promise to Aziza. That, that wasn't my question, sir. Um, no, I have I, not faltered in my duty. That's very honorable. Very curious about this Aziza. Could you, could you enlighten? Um, she, she sounds uh, like she was a very wonderful person. She was. She gave her eyes and her sight, so that so many others who have been blinded by the sands could see. And what happened to her? She perished in the sand? No. She perished after... Double check here. <laughs> Give me a persuasion check. I'll say it's a low either. DC because it's it's been going swimmingly so far. Yeah, with an 18, Ooh. kind of begrudgingly, not begrudgingly, but it seems like he doesn't want to mention it. Uh, but I was I was gonna say like he sounds he, like he, he really wants he, to talk about this. He but. cringes a little and winces. Aziza unfortunately fell after she tried to give her gift to others. The Pharaoh Octopus struck her down. Oh. <clears throat> and that was after he gave her a new set of eyes? That is correct. So was it a betrayal? She was going against one of his orders. I am not sure exactly what the order was. The story has been written somewhere long ago. That was not my story to tell. So we do not like this Octopot, then. Octopot is a just and fearful ruler. He rules from on high across the mountains, supposedly. Oh, he's still alive. Last I, I heard, gotta... yes. I is he must... the um? Is he the 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 head honcho? He is the pharaoh who rules over Harakir. Man, he's dozing, Daddy. Um, I see. <clears throat> we 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 encountered uh, some 
some bugs that I'm sure that you're not aware of, but uh, there were some uh, fire uh, frog toad like monsters uh, in the area up, up above over here. Uh, do you know if there's any other creatures like that deeper down? Are we allowed to go deeper in? The frogs are a byproduct of me lighting the flames through time. They eventually dissipate, but they always come back. Oh, I, are they are they here to protect this uh, watch? They are. Uh, um, I, I might uh, forgive me. Um, if, do you need any food? You look like perhaps you might be hungry. As long as I am on my duty, I require no food. Oh, that's uh, that's cool. That's convenient. Service is uh, sustenance enough. Ah, how long have you been here? Couldn't count the days even if I saw them. So you haven't drank or eaten in, uh, you would say, perhaps weeks? Perhaps. <laughs> I would imagine it is much longer than that. I think it's probably years. My goodness. I see. Um. Are, well, are we are we allowed to freely explore down here, or uh, do, should we just stay up by the entrance and and just kind of wait for the storm to pass? I, I, we're just curious what's down here. So I mean, if if you don't want us to explore any further, we can we can wait. It gives a thought to that. As long as the fires are lit, so she can see her way, I would yes, see no problem with this. I do not plan on doing anything with the fires. They're quite helpful, actually. Very much so. Is, is there any way to avoid these fire frogs? No, as I said, they are a byproduct of the flames being lit. Chaotic creatures in their nature, unfortunately. Got... Should do this. Should You're do only... this one uh, light more fires in the uh, other areas? As long as you do not burn the place down. If it helps you see. I assume you all are of sight. I, I, I have not quite made that dedication uh, to Aziza quite yet. Uh, so yes, I, I, I currently have my eyes. Still preparing. Uh, learning more. Is there only one way in and out of this place? To my knowledge, yes. Okay. Do you know every every inch of this place? I would say I wouldn't. There are doors I cannot open. Um, there's a, a pit. Uh, do you know what's underneath this place? The door has been sealed for as long as I've been here. Uh, I do uh, know of this pit. I see. Yes, of course, it is sealed. It would be foolish to open this door, I'm assuming. Foolish only if you were to fall down into it. It is quite ah. deep. Uh, well, the door is closed, so there is no chance of anyone falling in. There are no torches in there for me to light. As far as you know. Not in my duty, no. Ah, yes. <clears throat> um, uh, well... Uh, it was insightful for me to learn more about this. Um, I don't know about my companions, but uh, I believe I am uh, 
it was very informative. Thank you, monsieur. Uh, your nom? What your name? Goal. Goal? Goal. G-O-L. Goal. Uh, I am Vivienne Boutillier. That is a strange accent. I will remember it, though, as I don't hear many voices. Oh, that must be very lonely, Monsieur Goal. Uh, is is there uh, before we leave? Is there any anything that you would have us do for you? Any any kind of help that you might need, or anything we can bring for you? If you see a torch that is not lit, light it. Uh, oh, yeah. do do you have something to light stuff with? You can take a candle. Uh, uh, I suppose I could carry a lit candle. Uh, oh, it, it was, uh, yeah, Vivian great. will take a lit candle and hold it. Okay. <laughs> uh, goal, it was uh, great to meet your acquaintance. Uh, may, uh, may Neb guard the path. He kind of nods in a very deep bow solemnly as its flames kind of light up. I did as you asked, and I have a candle. I will light if there is a torch that has gone out. Walk. Thank back. you. This is amenable. As we get out of earshot, Vivian will be like, Oh, mon dieu, that was so strange. Do you think that woman in the in the hut um, recommended we come here? Maybe to convert. Yeah. It's See that whole that, whole that that whole tongueless thing is kind of still getting me. Uh, yes, perhaps yes. she is extremely devout, uh, but, but it does I, not make sense. Even Gold was saying that that uh, Aziza speak all the time. I'm uh, gonna come back over this way, and I, I would like to try to break down this door again. Which door? Okay. Oh, Around the corner over here. Can I? I, I want to investigate the statue thing over here. Sure. Give me an investigation check. <clears throat> I'm, I'm uh, kind of looking for any kind of story in pictographs or words. Uh, yeah. Looking for torches. Uh, there are no torches. Melting, melting in my hands. It is it. melting in your hands. Nineteen <laughs> investigation. Uh, uh, do... uh, you would notice along the uh, there is a keyhole, but around it there would be three flaming heads around it, which almost look like runes. Uh, signifying some sort of, like, magical trap, possibly. Uh, but you would also, close inspection, notice that the, the woman depicted is missing both of her eyes and is wearing a strange kind of hat or circlet that looks to have bits of exposed brain but it seem it doesn't like look like it's like fleshy in the on the statue like it's not meant to look fleshy it just looks like part of the the hat she's wearing i i think that this uh this door over here might be arcanely locked uh, might require some sort of special key, but, but this key. Uh, I, I think this might be having to do something with Aziza. I mean, obviously this whole place has to do with Aziza, but I think this looks like Aziza. Arcanely locked or arcanely trapped? Um, I, I don't know. Maybe both. Maybe both. Um. Meanwhile, is there anything yeah. else you guys are doing in that room? 
<laughs> Doza? No, I want to see what Doza's doing. All right, uh, Doza. I'm trying to break the stool. Give me an athletics check. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, come with, on. With, with a nine, you, you guys would... I'm going to use my inspiration. Okay. Come on. Really it's wants to break that door down. No, we'll... Come on. There it is. There we... Getting an 18. The door breaks down as... I'm going to get rid of that door. Uh, 15 skeletons. You guys would hear loud crashing as those of you would see a sconce lit in this room. Uh... Double check. What the hell yeah. now? And it looks like it goes further to the south. Doza! I have, I have more bugs. I'm gonna run over. Uh, yeah, we'll probably all run Does over. Does Doza proceed? Yep, I'm gonna see what's down this hallway. Alright. Doza, as soon as you walk down the hallway. <laughs> uh, Can I do it stealthily? Yeah, you broke down a door. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> but, but just like to sneak around the corner. Like, I doesn't know when I'm going to show up. Just Does like... a 22 hit you? <laughs> oh, man. A 22, a 22 hits me, yeah. As a glass vial shatters on your shoulder, you take six points of acid damage. As you would see a skeletal figure. Uh with a beard and like what looks to be a wizard hat ready he is lobbing shit at you here we go as there is glass and broken stuff in there and we are going to roll some initiative for favor do we get them all now come on let's roll above a 10 please you got a 16 last time um And we are going to what music? Gonna... We're going to switch the music up. Yeah, no, I'll keep my initiative actually, because he's still going before the thing. This is such a long adventure day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> As, it's, not, it's, uh, it's like it's like after lunch. Lopia is giving Doza the one buff. Uh, so Doza, you actually get an eleven. Right. Wait, on your he has a initiative. Buff because of what, sir? Uh, Twitch. Because Twitch, because oh. Dementophobia is giving him the one buff, so he has plus one to everything for nice. the next minute, which would include the rest nice. of his combat. Thank you. Well, nice. Let's do it. Thank you, Dementophobia. So that will take us to uh, Vivian. You would hear this crashing and this glass breaking from down the hall. What are you doing? Uh, yes, yes, sure. Um, okay, okay, I'm coming. Um, I'm gonna have to slide down this. No, no, care, careful, care, watch, watch your step. Uh, I'm just gonna do it carefully. Uh, no, you know what? I'm athletic. Let's do it. Let's well, just. Well, it's acrobatics. Or acrobatics. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's fine. Give me an uh, acrobatics check because this is that kind of like wobbly. An uh, 11. Gonna use my inspiration. All right. Fair enough. Uh, nice. Yeah, you can move down that hallway easily. Okay, because if you go down, you're going down far. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> uh, up to here is the most I can go. Um, I'm gonna ready. I'm gonna. I'm gonna ready two scimitars. Okay. No, I'm gonna ready my longbow. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I or if something Dude. comes down the hallway? Yeah, either... I was actually this way. Yeah, yeah, that's why. Yeah, down. it's kind of like a little mini hallway before you get to the room itself. Okay, yep. Uh, readying uh, my longbow. All right. That's going to take us to surprise guest number one. Yeah. Hot. As the sconce there explodes into magma as a imp-like creature surges out from it. Gosh, darn it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, a seven is going to miss as you're kind of put off guard by this this magma method that just <gasps> appears. Oh, it blinded me! <laughs> uh, 
but it is then going to try to let me double check something here. Uh, See, green you say fire. I need Doze and Vivian to give me a Dex? dexterity save. Doze, you do get plus one to it. That doesn't help a ton. No, but I'm rolling like trash. Uh, as you will each take. Nice. Doza, you take two points of fire damage. Vivian, you take one. As it's just this little sputtle or spittle of magma just splurts down the hall. Spit on this one. That will take us to your turn, Doza. Alright, I'm gonna... Punch the method. Punch that method. Nat 20, as I think Vivian's the only one who can see nice. you. So, Vivian, you're inspired again? Yep. Uh, as you punch into this method, uh, four, ten points of damage. I've never seen somebody punch fire before. Magma. Hot magma. magma. I will flurry of blows. Okay. Uh, 15 will hit it. Wait, it's also plus one damage. I keep forgetting that. Uh, so, for five points of damage, because it's plus one to every roll. As you're punching into it, wailing on it, uh, it's just kind of... It seems to be kind of bubbling up with magma. Still, still up and going? Yeah, you're flurrying. Well, I just wanted to make sure, because if, if it died... In this during this hit, I was gonna go to the next guy. I gotcha. So seventeen will also hit. Eighteen. As it takes six points of bludgeoning damage, you punch into it. It just kind that's, of looks like it's trying to points of bludgeoning. burp up some more fire as it explodes. And I need a dexterity save from Doza. For fourteen. That is a success. Yeah. As you take two points of fire damage. Ouch. And I'm going to back out of the room. All right. That will take us to the skeletal alchemist who runs down the hall uh, and gonna lob acid at Vivian because you're there. Oh, uh, hello. Getting a 12 to hit. It misses. As it's just this vial of acid gets lobbed towards you and just hits the wall behind you hissing as it kind of goes around the corner. Oh. And Elias, you would see right behind Vivian this glass just exploding as, as that acid hits the wall there. That will take us to Elias's turn. Um. All right. I. Uh, I guess I'll head oh, down. Actually, it's th it's throwing. It's going to throw another one real quick. I oh, forgot about right. too. Before I forget, I don't want to make this thing a total pushover. It got a five, so they both miss. It lobs two at you real quick. It it comes back around oh. and throws another one. It just lands at your feet. That will take us to a lie, sorry. Uh, I'm gonna kinda uh, head down the, the area here, uh, pop between Vivian's legs, and then head in. I'm stuck in Vivian. I can't move. Oh, uh, let me move. There we go. Uh, win. That was a one, two, three, four. Uh, can I cut the corner or no? What do you mean, cut the corner? Like, shoot around the corner? Yeah. Like, oh, uh, I would say no for the hallway. Okay. Yeah. I ain't have enough. I got one, two, three, four. Oh, I have this anyway. this is difficult terrain right here. Oh, to get the, the to get hallway. There. Okay, so I didn't have enough. Okay. Right, so I'll get there. Uh, I have no bonus action stuff to do. 
Not yet. Well, not anymore. Nope. Um. I guess I'll just, uh, come on. Uh, I'll stay where I'm at. All right. I'm, uh, I hold, I hold an action uh, for a twinkle slash if he gets close. All right. Which, he, which he's not, because he's gonna throw some. That will take us to Duncan, as your blade starts to twinkle. Doze's blade. Twinkle blade. Um, I'm gonna run around the corner. Um, I don't think I have enough movement to get up to him. Probably not. It is also difficult terrain once you get where you're at. Oh, okay. Um, in that case... Is it difficult terrain for what reason? Because of the, the city ground. Okay, it, it's steep and all it. broken up. Then I'm going to turn into a giant wolf spider and climb on the ceiling. All right. Oh, there you right. go. Bonus action wolf spider it up. Let me bring that spooter down. Did it do it? Yeah. Yep. Um, and I'm assuming since I already had movement, the spider doesn't get its movement. I mean, I would say you could like use half your movement and then the spider does whatever. Yeah, but I can't reach him to... To, to attack. Speed. What's the spider speed? Uh, 40. I would say you could get there then. Because that'd be... No, so you'd be like... You'd still be... Over Dun I'll, I'll be over Elias. Yeah. Okay. Been ready and attack. Uh, that's true. I can... I'll, I'll, I'll... Can I ready and attack if the skeleton gets within range of... You sure Elias? can. Or any one of my allies. Absolutely. Does the spider have eleven hit points? No, Does it, that's, have that's, it has your hit points. You, okay. I believe, you get bonus. You get temporary hit points now with the wild shape. <sighs> it's a long one. Yeah, I, I, I still need to learn this. You gain number of temporary hit points equal to your druid level. So you would just get two temporary hit points right now. <laughs> oh, that's nothing. It adds up. I mean, it does. It does. But you don't lose your form when you lose any of the extra hit points. So it's, you know. Yeah. Uh, so okay. you're just going behind Elias. Oh, God. I'm, I'm of... That's right. Gotcha. Yeah, I'd say on you got on, on get... top of On top of yeah, Elias. Yeah, you, you can share the space. Well, he's on the ceiling. I'm on the floor. Yeah, and we're really. That works. I'm small. All right. Taking us to Vivian. Uh, okay, let me take care of this. Uh, pull out my two scimitars. Okay. Away again. <laughs> I'd say it would definitely be difficult terrain with a spider and Elias on the floor, but I think you still have enough movement. I just uh, yeah, I through in the middle. Yeah. Good. Fifteen. Yeah, I do. So even if it's the door there has here. been broken down. Uh, you okay. see a kung gonna... fu footprint. Gonna... <laughs> Paw print. I'm gonna I'm gonna throw some petals at him, Hunter's mark him. Okay. Uh, scimitar. Eighteen will definitely hit this unarmored skeleton. <laughs> For that. Jeez, for 14 points of damage as uh, that, that did a good number on him. Slashing through his cloak, some bones kind of fall out from underneath him. I'm gonna come back up on the swing. 15 will also hit. Uh, no hunters on that one. Another six. Take six more points of slashing. Cutting off his beard, a couple of the, I don't know, clavicle bits fall off. He's a, he's, a, he's a tough skeleton. That will yeah, take, that's that, why I marked yeah. him. <laughs> that will take us to Doza. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and... The... Uh... 
I run, can I just do some crazy shit and use uh, my movement to get behind this guy? Maybe do some athletic athletics check or something. Um, or acro acrobatics. Trying to jump behind him in this room here. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna set the DC really high because you gotta move through a lot of people in there. Yeah, I have like the movement to do it. Yeah, because I'm super fast, but. Yeah. Say, give me, give me okay. an acro, give me an acrobatics. I'm gonna again. I'm gonna set the DC really high. All right, twenty-two. 22. Yeah, you got it. Well, twenty-three because I still have that plus one, right? I'll say it's gonna use your bonus action though to get there. Okay. Yes, yeah, that would yes, be kind yes, of like using step of the like, like using step of the wind kind of deal. Kind of, yeah. Almost. Almost, but I don't have to spend the key point. Right. All right, then I'm going to hit him. All right. In the face and body. All right, 23 will absolutely hit him. 24. 24. For six points six. of bludgeoning damage. Nice. As you crack him, kind of the back of his skull as he gets knocked forward a little bit, the hat falls off. And brains are overrated. As it has no brains inside. Anything else for Doza? That'll be my turn. And we'll take us to the creature. Uh, the Skeletal Alchemist, who is going to make a... Uh, claw attack against Vivian. As it, it reveals its hands that are in, kind of carved into pointed claws, getting an 18 to hit. That'll hit. As you take... Big old two points of slashing damage. And then it's going to claw out at Doza, kind of swinging wildly. Getting a 16 to hit. Oh, that's my AC. As it does claw into Doza. For, well, minimum damage again. Uh, two points of slashing damage. As but that does it. Fortunately, that does it as Doza falls unconscious taking us to Elias. Uh, he didn't fall through your twinkle, twinkle strike maneuver. Uh, no, he did not. I can't I move anymore. I can't. It's because the spider's on top of you. Oh, that's why. Uh, yeah, I want to move. Uh, um, can I like, poke underneath Vivian's legs and then uh, knowing that I'm going to back up uh, to take an opportunity. I back. would say no with Vivian. No. I, would, I would allow with like another small creature maybe, but even then that's opening up for extra shenanigans. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh... It's too cramped in here. Yeah, small is. space. Dosa, Dosa fell. Can you help Dosa? I, I, I can't. I can't get to him. I. Uh... I can't get to him because this ugly little son of a bitch is in the way. Uh, cast vicious mockery. <laughs> okay. <laughs> vicious mockery him. So you gotta make a wisdom save. Call him an ugly son of a bitch. He got a nat twenty though. Oh. Uh, do I get impressed by that? No. He, he, <laughs> the the dead m magma method gets impressed. Oh. <laughs> As he. It, you know, he's like, whatever. You see a glint in his he eyes. He has no brain. He doesn't, yeah. he doesn't know at yeah. all what he's yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that's my turn. That will take us to Duncan the Spider. Duncan the Spider's going to climb up along the ceiling and uh, drop down on the skeleton. All right. And attack. All right. Drop on down. Give me that bite attack. Guy. Boom. Twenty-two will absolutely hit, as you, as spiders do, strike from the the shadows, as he will take seven points of piercing damage. Unfortunately, the poison just kind of drips from your fangs into his loose uh, body, his skull, as you jump down onto him. Uh, he falls, tatters to the ground. Okay, let me make some room. As right you guys do make room, uh, seeing Doza's unconscious, you make a medicine check or Doza's 
Death uh, save. Uh, yeah. Okay. I give me a medicine. We'll try. I mean, yeah. I, I can just I can just cure him uh, if we want to. You know. Okay. Ten is enough to stabilize him. Okay, I stabilize him. It's just because she's the closest, so she would immediately run to him. As the skeleton falls to tatters, you just kind of check on Doe to stop the bleeding from the scratches. Uh, okay, he's stable. Uh, it, um, you would notice in here, hard. you actually get a uh, look at the good room in here. Uh, you guys were hostile. You don't get to see the skeleton. Standing there. Uh, but you do see what looks to be a broken yeah, and disheveled lab of some sort. Around? What? The room? I'm telling you about the room. <laughs> uh, but you see a broken and disheveled lab of some sort. Uh, looks like a work table where a lizard has been taken apart with a bottle half full. And... Uh, you would see broke again, broken glass. Looks to be an old furnace that has been busted up. Uh, you would see bottles and vials. Some of them still there, uh, lining the shelf and the floor. Uh, El Elias gets on Duncan's back and pretends to be a drider. <laughs> uh, I'll allow it. Can I? Can I look um, in my? spider form for any useful bottles absolutely uh give me an investigation check investigation mm -hmm. is uh, let's see intelligence oh it's your investigation right oh, okay Elias, can you uh, Beautiful. help out our friend here spider vision is messing you up that you say you got him, right? Uh, yes, but he's not dying. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah, okay. Uh, usually it works better, you know, when people can see my performance. Uh, but, you know, I, I guess, you know, whatever. You uh, can and, see? I, and I'll, uh, I'll uh, reach down and uh, cure wounds. Uh, and as I do, it just kind of... Uh, as I'm going down, my butt's kind of bobbing as I kind of dance to a little music. Dancing on the dead. Or unconscious. Level one. Twelve. Back to max. As Doza comes back to consciousness with 12 hit points. I will say, in your spider form, you would note that there are uh, three vials along the wall that you can note. Doza immediately stands up and knocks them off the shelf. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> that is uh, the most cat thing to do. Yeah, roll me... I don't actually do that. <laughs> that is oh. awesome. <laughs> like, oh, those don't belong there. <laughs> yeah, those, those belong on the floor. That asshole cat. <laughs> um yeah, uh I'll I'll use my one of my legs to like point. Uh I will investigate the uh to see if I recognize them as perhaps maybe hopefully a healing potion. Give me a it would be an arcana or a nature check. I can do nature. Oh, I can't do Oh, I'll inspire myself. I have inspiration. I got a one. I am inspired. You are again. now can inspired. I... You can't use your can inspiration I... on the one. Yeah. That you just got. <laughs> uh, you don't know what this shit is. Uh, um... Can I do a nature check? I would say you would need to be in human form or gnome oh. form. Okay. Your senses are that of a fighter, right? Well, I, I mean, if you pop them open and show them to the spider man, you can also talk as wild shape now too oh can you really you can okay oh um uh, yes i i do not know at all what this is uh, i've never seen this before it's completely alien it must be a result of uh, this newfangled world we find ourselves in uh, it's not it's not blood so you're not gonna drink it 
pop, pop, one, <laughs> pop one of those open and, and, and put it up to, to my mandible here. Uh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> give me a give me a nature check for Arcana. Uh, one of them is a vial of acid. <laughs> Don't drink that one. <laughs> as you definitely get that acrid smell from it. The other looks to be an alchemist fire. And the, the third is a potion of healing. Ooh. Can you drink that one? Uh, yep, yeah, I'll I'll convey that. Um, I, so, I mean, acid could be useful. Um, let's. I think we should keep all these. What well, is an alchemist think, fire? Do we think that each person should keep one separate? That way there's no chance of one person mixing them up and confusing them? Ooh. Sure. Yeah. Well, I don't need a potion of healing, but uh, Doza is often in the front line. I think we should give Doza the healing potion. I, I agree. But he's always running into danger um, that doesn't need to be run into. But that's to prevent us from running into it. Yeah, he can take care of himself. Well, um, okay, I'll... This one runs and runs and runs. You're your cat. Um, you do what you do. Uh, I'll I'll take the uh, I'll take the alchemist fire or the acid. Uh, yes, uh, I don't have a particular need for one. I'll take I'll take I can take the other one then. All right, I'll take the acid. I got the alchemist fire. Uh, uh, did you guys find a key? Uh, maybe no. maybe it's got some like red runes or something on it. Cause I showed you the runes up on the door, right? Can we uh, search the body? The skeleton's yeah. body? Give me an investigation check as you start searching the body. I mean, at this point, we might as well go down to the other room. With, an, with a 20, we'll say the... Last. Sorry, that wasn't public. I, I was expecting to do a death save. Uh, no, you're good. Yeah, he got he rolled a 19, but we'll say the plus one counts for this too. Why not? Uh, uh, you would notice uh, attached to the belt of this wizard, who this wizard, the skeleton, uh, it does look to be a double check. A nope, wrong one. I'm just gonna double. I just don't want to lie to you about the description of it. Yeah, you would see a wand of some sort. Uh. Looks like a bronze spiraled wand. Uh, coming to a point at the end. Looks like it has kind of like the double spiral, like double helix almost, spiraling down. And at the the handle of it looks to be a kind of stopper of some kind with some arcane glyphs on it. I'm going to pick it up by like just like the, the my claws, just like barely, barely holding on to it. Those is no magic man. And you will like pass it over his shoulder to somebody else i'd like catch it bobble it in there a couple times and catch it dangerous item for him to have um uh, maybe elias uh maybe i uh, i will hold on to it yeah i was kind of thinking that maybe we can give it to esquire i mean if we ever see him again uh, yeah, Esquire is dead. I, uh, I, re I, I really hope not, because Big John was with him, and I, I sincerely hope Big John's not dead. Um, I mean, if, if, 
if Big John is dead, then I think we're all dead. Because Big John is protecting all of us. Uh, yes, he was... Well, they were both useful. Let's let's be fair. They were both well, very useful. Well, um, maybe we maybe we should take use of the wand. Maybe uh, until Doza is too fast to die, and then Doza runs down the hallway. Right, give me, give me an acrobatics check. Mm -hmm. uh, right after Does, Doza. Do you do you give me the wand? Uh, I do not. Oh, Ilias! No, wait, hold on, Ilias. Uh, with, with an eight, Doza goes tumbling down into the room. Uh, Elias maybe takes four points of bludgeoning damage. Is he fallen conscious? No. Oh no, he got healed. No, he's full. <laughs> Elias, Elias, can can you can I take a look at the wand? The spider. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll give the wand to Duncan. No, I'm a spider. I can't. I mean, you can you can uh -oh. hold it in your mouth. I don't know. <laughs> but I can't. I can't like. I can't do an arcana check as a spider. Uh, it's knowledge. You might have recognized it from somewhere, or like the symbol on it. I I would allow that. Okay. Might need to study it for a minute, but uh, with the, I'd say with a twenty. After you guys hear this crash. <laughs> uh. That, uh, yeah. This is a wand of secrets. Ooh. <laughs> that is dangerous for me to have. <laughs> yep. Uh, pretty much three times a day, it can detect secrets within 30 feet of you. Traps or hidden caches or secret doors and stuff. I think this might be a good thing for Divian to have. It is also an arcane focus. Ooh, I can use this uh, instead of my pedals. Although... Well, you you would you require a ranger or druidic focus, not an arcane focus. Ah, uh, right. Okay, I will keep my sprig of mistletoe then. So this is not something that that I uh, anyone can use. It. Anyone can use, but it's anyway, not a focus. It does not count as a focus for you. Okay, but oh, but that's fine. I can still use it. You can still use it. Uh, yes, I will. I can use that. As you guys are talking about this, those uh, you doing anything when you're in there? Being sad. Okay, that's fair enough. Sad kitty. <laughs> I fell. <laughs> I will pick it from the mandibles. I thought cats were supposed to land on their feet. Uh, and I will slowly make my way down to Doza. Give me an acrobatics check. Did I get a I'll, say, I'll say you guys. I'll say I'll let you guys roll with advantage because you know the dangers of this, especially after two people have fallen. Also, I'm a spider. Spider, uh, not necessary. <laughs> Elias goes tumbling down too. Uh, takes, Elias takes four points of bludgeoning damage. <laughs> can, can I can I try and take Vivian with me? Take her down. I mean, <laughs> reach out and grab her, and <laughs> you could certainly well, try. Well, not, not 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 like take her out, but like reach out, grab her, and like it, it so happens to. Take her down, because that would be funny. But no. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I wish she would try to grab you back and pull you. Sure, Vivian, give me a, a dexterity save to see if you can stop him from falling. Uh, I inspire myself. I'm well, you're already inspired. You don't inspire yourself. You just use that. I know, I know. That's what I mean. But I'm inspired, so uh, I can use my inspiration. You can use it anytime you want. You just be like, I'm going to use my inspiration. As Elias, my inspiration. You, you don't fall down the... I catch you. Yeah. You reach out and I catch you. Your, your princess carrying me to the town now? Uh, yes, I will I will carry you. Uh, you are a danger to yourself. You're, you're my hero. And I kind of, I, I put my arms around your neck as you're holding, <laughs> you're carrying me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, mon dieu. Duncan, you need to take better care of your uh, of your brother. 
I think I'm in very capable arms right now. I, I, I can't control this, this man. I drop the candle at some point. I was gonna say, do you still have the candle? <laughs> yeah, you would have had to have dropped it. Yeah, probably right. I ran over to Vivian. The uh, the candle. There's a uh, sconce here. Oh uh, no, the um. Uh, I can use, uh, hold on, I think I, I can use something, I think I have something I can use, a uh, cantrip. Well, I don't know if your, your craft won't do anything. Uh, I, I use minor illusion and make it lit. Oh, no, I can, I can use druidcraft, I can light a candle. You can. Uh, or torch or a small campfire. You uh, can. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use druidcraft on it and light it. Alright, it is lit up. Where is it? Wow, oh, down this, is here. A, this is a really good illusion. I'm getting good. <laughs> I will walk down here and light it up. Alright. There's, I think there's one over here, too. There, there, there's, there's a, a of... broken one along the wall. It seems like there was a cave-in along the side. Is This, this oh, area so seems to have been sunken in. There's... Uh... Anything of note on this table or altar or whatever it is? Uh, it looks like some ruined papers, a uh, book that is covered in dust, and a golden key. Ooh. That would be the I shimmering see. that you had seen earlier. Well, Elias, you said you uh, needed the key? I, I was looking for that key. That must now key it, the key looks to have two... Uh, Tell you what color they are. Yeah, two emerald eyes on either side of the face of the key, the head of the key. That must open I'll that. Toss up. the key to Elias. Uh, uh, I'm, I immediately start to head back up, and then I turn around. Uh, we're not done exploring here yet, are we? Is there anything? Uh, I'm gonna try to read the book. All right, give me a. An investigation check trying to read these these crumpled and old writings. Oof. With the six. Uh, as you kind of go to pick it up, it kind of just turns to dust. I'm gonna use the Wand of Secrets. Okay. You don't notice anything secret in here. It kind of, as you cast it, this kind of like reverberation that only you see, this kind of like echolocation pulses throughout the, the room. Nothing hangs or bounces back. Uh, it appears there's nothing uh, secretive in here. Should we take the book? Maybe we can study it later? The page it's is disintegrated point. as oh. those have picked it up. Oh, we're, we're done. We're done down here. Uh, 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 okay. Uh, yes. Okay, Elias. Um, oh, I can't move because I'm stuck behind the spider. I don't know why that keeps happening. That's going to be a jump gate issue. Make sure to report that. Because this, we are using the jump gate uh, on roll twenty. Moving characters in general has been a little wonky. Yeah, there's that does seem to be a little bit of lag today. I am gonna run after uh, Elias. Fair enough. Elias. <laughs> As you all come back to this main room together, uh, I think that'll be a good spot to end tonight. As you've started delving into this forgotten, but not forgotten, at least not by a uh, goal. Uh, maybe the Aziz's blind watch mute lady. Oh yeah, she didn't forget it either for sure. Uh, oh, no. she sent you here, but yeah, that would be a good spot to end tonight. So, thanks for watching, internet, and we will uh be back next Wednesday. Hopefully, we get everyone back in the group. Uh, but yeah, thanks again for that boost. That yes, plus yeah. One. Thank that you, Dementophobia. Awesome. And we will be sure to check us out next week. We'll see y'all next time. 
Bye. 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 Bye.